Hi guys, welcome back to your weekly readings. This is Riza here. I trust you guys had a wonderful week last week and are gearing up for the summer solstice, which is right around the corner. Um, there are all the mutable planets that are in a Grand Cross at the moment. So come the summer solstice and the full moon, there's going to be a lot of oppositions and stresses on all of the signs that are mutable. Uh, we have Saturn in Sagittarius, we have Neptune in Pisces, we have Mercury in Gemini, we have Jupiter in Capricorn. And the Sun is going to oppose Jupiter, and I don't know, there's, it's a lot of um, intricate details about the planets. All I know is that some of the things that we have restricted for ourselves, that we believe cannot be done, that we don't believe can ever happen, may happen now because of the way that those planets are moving the houses that they're in the signs that they're affecting which are all mutable mutable signs represent um, signs that can change very very quickly that can go from a to b and not feel the change as much as other signs that are more fixed they don't like the change quite as much the planets that are affecting those signs at the moment are going to uh, make changes happen that one never thought would or one thought was waiting for and would never happen there's going to be on a global level religious beliefs political beliefs things that Sagittarius is all about philosophy religion uh, looking forward higher education those things are all going to be stressed upon so a lot of people are going to see that Achieving their goals is only going to come through higher education, through big changes that will happen on a global level, and they will start to happen, so just prepare for that. And also prepare for some dreams because of Neptune being in Pisces that will finally come to light. <laughs> Things that um, you never thought would. So guys, I have a really big reading here because a lot of the decks called me to bring you messages this weekend, so... It's going to turn out to be a, a nice reading, I hope. <laughs> Don't know yet because I haven't shuffled all the cards out yet. I'm waiting uh, for the proper moment. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, your comments, your likes, your shares, your thumbs up, which is very important so that uh, YouTube can move me up in the ranks. It has been slow and it has been very tedious, but... I am learning along the way and I enjoy everyone that has been with me all this time. We're almost like good friends is how I feel like you guys are now at this point in my life and in my job and on my site. Uh, if you guys would like a private reading with me, please check the link below. I also have my address running around here where you can send me an email and I would appreciate them. And I will send you back an introductory email letting you know what I do. There's also the little information button that comes up here that tells you what uh, readings I'm offering. If you click the link, it'll take you to my site and it'll list out all the readings that I offer and how much they are. There's also other links there. So check them out. I do appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get to the as we have been following along with the Major Arcana, today we're going to visit Justice. Justice represents the sign of Libra. Justice symbolizes mental balance. It symbolizes balance in your life. Where are you out of balance? What can you do to change the path you're on to bring more balance into your life? More balance that is just for your life. For the things that you want to accomplish in your life. She has the golden scales and the sword, the double-edged sword. So for every choice, there is a consequence. Justice is a double-edged sword. So you have to be careful of things that you do so that karmic justice doesn't come back to you in a terrible way, which can happen. Her golden scales symbolize equilibrium and her sword held up in her right hand represents the power of truth wisdom and order she is logic the intellectual realms and unbiased decisions that would be made 
in your favor or not, but mostly in your favor if she comes up outright. Ruled by Libra, the sign of balance and partnership, justice emphasizes the importance of perspective and objectivity and reminds us that for every action, well, of course, there is a reaction. Also, when this card comes up, it's called the legal card for a reason. It represents contacts. It represents contracts. It represents the justice being ruled fairly if it comes up again upright or if it comes up reverse that means decisions will go against you any court decisions any tickets any traffic violations will not go in your favor because <laughs> that's what that's what this card represents it can indicate the need to consult a lawyer to give evidence in court something similar to it it can even revolve around something commonplace or irritating again like a parking ticket or speeding fines Justice can also imply karmic payback time, so that Clarence's life should be kept balanced and in order. She must be honest or he in all that she does. If she's trying to fool those around her, eventually they will suspect that something is wrong. People might try to influence you, so stick to your guns. Always feel that you're making balanced decisions without an agenda, a hidden agenda. Because when this card comes up in a reading, or since we're going to be focusing on the energies of Libra or balance, justice this week, uh, things may not go in our favor if we try to do something underhanded or if we're doing something for the wrong reasons. So let's see in all areas of our lives how justice will play out this week. Let's see where home and family life is concerned. The King of Wands. Your work and finances is concerned. Or your studies, if some of you are just studying. Let's give it to Good shuffle. The World card. Where work and finances are concerned, you're getting the world. Nutrition, Eight of Wands, Relationships and Romance, the Eight of Swords, Reversed. Mm, good. Means you're not, it's not going to be stuck anymore. <laughs> now the final outcome. Strength. Beautiful card. Okay, okay. Bottom of the deck, Six of Coins. Balance. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. See, he holds the scales as well. That means that there are helpful people out there that's going to help us bring balance to our lives this week. Where finances are concerned, perhaps where family is concerned, where you have been lacking in life, whatever area that is, it will start to bring balance into your life this week. Okay. Let's go. King of Wands. King of Wands. Where your home and family is concerned is projects that have been stuck or decisions that needed to be made in order to bring the family together, to move to a better home, um, be healthier, eat healthier foods, come together a bit more. Maybe there's been arguments or differences of opinion um, at, at odds. Maybe work, maybe there's a work situation or a decision that needs to be made or that has been uh, stagnant. Whatever it is, the King of Wands represents energy that finally begins to move forward. A plan that is set in motion and it goes forward now. Before it was just a thought, a, a desire, something that you were working up to. And then all of a sudden, he brings it into light. He brings the forward movement so that it can be manifest. When it comes to your work and finances, you're getting the world card. This also represents studies in our, in our reading here. So some of the, I guess if you're going to school, some of you are graduating, you're finishing, you're getting your degree, 
So you are being congratulated. Some of you are getting promotions. Some of you are going from one job to another. One job ended, another one begins. It represents energy that has been worked through, lessons that have been learned. Of course, justice is bringing balance into this area of your life as well. You're beginning something new. You may be traveling at your job. You're going to a new job and there may be some travel that is um, predicted to happen in this new position that you are going to take or the new place that you're going to. But you will be happy because you know that something ended and something began. You see how she's surrounded by children? Some of you are going to be working with children, including myself, that will need help. And it's being blessed by the Mother Mary in this card. The world is at your fingertips. You're going to begin something new that you absolutely love. So look forward to it. And some of you are going to be working in positions that will help children. I guess there's a lot of summer jobs now that are opening up that's all about kids, camps, working with special needs children. Uh, and some of you are going to be protecting them and be helping them. So that's good, good for you guys. When it comes to your health and nutrition, you're getting the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is messages that you receive that move you forward. It's also forward movement. So you're rapidly going to start doing things that will bring back health to your life, that will bring balance again to your life. It is something that's happening to you due to justice, due to karmic justice, that you need to start paying attention to your health so that it doesn't go in the wrong direction. So you're going to quickly start moving forward. So that that happens or you will receive some messages from either having gone to the doctor and not having had enough information or getting a second opinion and all of a sudden all these messages start coming in to where you start moving your life forward again because everything is okay. Things are start moving forward in a positive direction for you where health is concerned. Okay, where romance and relationships are concerned, you've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. When it's upright, it means that you're stuck in a situation where you're very unhappy, you don't feel like you can move forward, you have a blindfold on, there's swords around you, you think you can't move, even though you can, because you can just walk out of that. It, all, it represents a lot of struggles that you're having mental, mentally in your life. Well, being reversed, it tells me that the swords can actually fall out. So now you're in a position where you don't quite feel as stuck anymore, where you can start moving your life forward again. Something happens that moves you forward, and very quickly because you're getting the Eight of Wands. So something just happens and all of a sudden, boom, the blindfold falls off, your swords fall off, and you start seeing your way forward again and you see that it was all in your mind. And this is, again, justice. It's bringing balance into this situation where romance is concerned, where you've been feeling stuck either in a, in a relationship that was making you very unhappy and now you see your way out, or situations that you were having in your relationship where you were having some struggles or differences of opinions or arguments with your beloved and all of a sudden boom it's over the arguments pass things start looking good again you start seeing your way forward again in that relationship and for those of you that are single that you thought oh no i can't have a relationship no i feel stuck i don't know what's going on nothing's been moving forward all of a sudden things start to change for you so you start seeing that you can perhaps have a relationship maybe you meet someone maybe someone comes into your life that um that offers some love or offers change and it makes you very happy it brings some type of balance this is all about balancing areas of our lives guys this week that have been lacking that have been out of balance that have just not even been existence <laughs> for some so the outcome is the strength card so these changes are going to uh, ask us to be strong this week because some of them are going to be big changes. Some of them are going to affect us in a particular way because it'll be like, for example, work and finances. It's a new cycle that begins. So it'll be something new that you're not used to doing. And uh, it may take some extra strength in order to you be, for you to be able to achieve that, that challenge that you're going to have in all areas of your life this week. You're going to be strong as well in bringing back some health and nutrition, start eating the right food, start exercising or doing something that that will help you become more healthy. You need to bring balance into all areas of your life because otherwise it can go in the wrong direction. This card represents lust as well. 
lust for life, lust in a relationship. Maybe you're going to meet someone that's going to awaken those uh, lustful feelings. So like everything, be sure that you're balanced about this person. If there's a new person that comes into your life, make sure that you don't let it go too quickly forward because then you'll find yourself having made a mistake because you moved too fast. You weren't able to control your forward movement, your emotions, and your lust for this new person. It could also represent a Leo, which is a fire sign, and that's what strength represents, the sign of Leo. So keep your eyes open because a person that's a Leo can ride into your life, or just a person that's very passionate, very impulsive, but he is protected. He's protected with his... I've, the word escapes me. See if I look at it. He's protected with his armor. Yes, it happened. <laughs> Thank God. And he has secrets. See the dark bird behind him? So be very careful. So if a rider comes into your life this week, someone offering a cup of love or someone that looks romantic or may feel that way, be careful because he does have secrets. He could be married. He could be involved with someone else. And you get all crazy. You're all happy. Yay. And then all of a sudden, a little dark secret comes out. Because there's darkness back here, so be very careful. Keep your emotions under control. Keep everything in check. There's also a king of wands here at the beginning, so it could very well be one of the fire signs. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. So watch out for those suckers, because they're very, uh, very confusing sometimes, because their energy can just engulf you and spin you around and... Um, Sometimes it ends badly, and other times it's the best thing that could ever happen to you, so uh, keep that in mind. You're going to be bringing a lot of balance back into your finances because of the world card. You're going to be happy, and definitely watch out for those new people that may ride into your life this week. Okay, let's begin with the oracle cards. First of all, since it's Sunday, see what the Lord has to say. Or, my favorite master, Jesus. My father gives you the true bread from heaven. Believe, have faith. If you hunger for something, if you have an appetite that you cannot seem to satisfy, it's insatiable. Turn your faith towards the divine. The bread that will finally satisfy your hunger or your need to find something that's elusive that you can't figure out what it is you're missing. It comes from the divine. Jesus is pointing you in that direction. Start to develop your spirituality. Or continue, for those of you that are already on the path, because there's something that you're missing, but something that will satisfy that hunger of need. Desire to find something that's missing. It's our disconnection, or seemingly a disconnection from the divine. We're never truly disconnected. It's just that we're asleep. We need to reawaken all this knowledge, ancient knowledge, that is difficult. It takes a lifetime, and then some. It takes several. Okay. The mermaids have to tell you that it's time to... Do some contemplation in your life. Again, trying to bring balance back into our lives. Spending time alone, meditating upon what you truly, truly, truly desire in your life. You're having to make some choices as to what direction to take in life. Right now, it's very important that you do so. So you need to spend some time alone and contemplation, outdoors especially, because here you see the mermaid. She's outdoors, she's looking at the birds, she's contemplating, thinking about her life, the decisions that she has made up to now, and where she wants to take her life from here. That's he or she. Dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. If you guys have been beating yourself up with negative um, thoughts about yourself, no, you can't do it, or you're not good enough, I, you know, whatever it is you think, Stop doing that. You need to dream bigger about yourself. You're a spirit of light. You're very important to this world. You're here for a reason. There's a certain direction you need to take your life in, and you need to dream it. You need to think it. You need to visualize it, and then start moving forward with, with what it is that you want to do in life, not what others tell you to do, 
not what you think you must do for the sake of family or friends or what have you, society. Don't do it. Go in the direction that makes you happy because life is short and you need to enjoy it somehow. Protection. You and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So if there's any fears that you're having about your children, grandchildren, um, your home, your property, your family, yourself, relax. You're being protected by angels, so there's no reason for you to worry. So there must be someone out there that's worried about their things or this forward movement that we're having to do this week where a lot of things will be changing and we don't have a handle on it yet, but don't worry because you're being watched over by powerful beings that won't let you down. Okay, for some of you, it's time to leave an unhealthy situation. So you're getting yourself in something that isn't unhealthy or that isn't healthy or you're in a situation now that isn't healthy and you need to start thinking about moving yourself forward and in a different direction. Archangel Michael, what part of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So again, I chose this deck because Archangel Michael, he always has a sword as well. And he brings balance and he's very protective and gentle when it comes to souls that pray, pray to him, you know, or ask him for guidance and direction. So he's telling us that, again, to bring balance into our lives, there's unhealthy situations that we need to get out of, that we need to remove from our lives so that we are happier, so that it doesn't bring negative energy into our existence. Because when we walk out into a situation that we don't like, it makes us very, very unhappy, very uncomfortable, and uh, we feel trapped. But those feelings of being trapped are going to start dissipating in our lives because we're going to start seeing things for what they truly are, how we need to get away from situations in our life that are bringing us down. And we need to pray to Michael so that he gives us the strength and cuts away the cords that attach us to unhealthy situations so that we can move forward. The bottom of the deck we have eternal love so for some of us we're going to meet a very important soulmate or we're going to start working our way towards that again we're freeing ourselves from some of the confining thoughts and struggles that we've had where relationships are concerned some of us are with our soulmate already it's an eternal love that lasts forever some of us need to focus that we have eternal love already within us the love from the divine, the love from angels, our guides around us. And once we start raising our vibrations, we may be able to attract someone that's very like us. Help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. So we're going to find that balance within ourselves. This week, we're going to begin, or this week it may actually happen, so that we can bring someone into our lives that's soulmate a significant soulmate so that it does make us feel like this is it <clears throat> we have finally found someone that or we've met someone that um, makes us feel like this is eternal it's going to last forever a significant soulmate that that stays with us for the rest of this lifetime okay this is the deck where we have the interactive reading so you guys Ask a question, and then we'll see what happens. My first card that popped out before I even said anything about, try to think about it, uh, it's let go. There's a lot of things that are going to be dropped out of our lives so that we can begin something new. And that was expressed at the very beginning with the, where is it? With the world card. Okay, a lot of things are going to be ending, especially where work is concerned, finances, careers, so that something new begins. The world card represents that ending of cycles and beginning of something totally new, but something that makes you happy. Also, travel. Some of you may say, forget it. I'm not going to work this summer and I'm going to travel because this card represents the fact that you can travel. You can go to other places. So some of you may be traveling for the summer. Maybe changing your jobs, going to one place to another. Um, some of you are going to reach or have a, a 
promotion. Maybe they'll move you from one department to the other. One area changes for you, so keep that in mind. Okay. For some of you, the whatever you have asked for, perfect timing. It's a perfect timing to do certain things, to ch make changes in your life. Maybe to go traveling, since that's what I was talking about. And I'm not sure what you guys are wishing for. The next card is, there's no need to worry. So if there's something that's perplexing you or um, that you can't figure out what the answer is to it, don't worry about it. The answers do come. Okay. No need to worry, especially where finances are concerned, because they will look better. They're, things will get better for a lot of things. So it could be the perfect timing to go from one job to another or from starting something new. If something new does come into your life or you get a new proposal or a new uh, place of employment or a new home or a new relationship that comes into your life, it may be the perfect timing. Again, be careful. Don't move too quickly so that you get to know the person if that's the case, so that there's no surprises later. Remember, there's a dark side to everyone. There's balance. There's that yin and yang. Remain positive through all the changes that are going to occur this week because it's all divinely guided. As you see, the head of the angel is lit up. So there's downloads that we're getting. There's new information that's coming in, and it's all being guided by the divine, these changes for things that you have asked for. There's things that you want. And sometimes we have to have some really violent changes in our lives in order to achieve some of our dreams because we're not going in the right direction. <laughs> so in order to achieve what you have prayed for or desired, you have to go in a 180 degree or whatever, in another direction. And in order to get you to do that, sometimes the changes are pretty violent or you you throw yourself in situations and you wonder, what the hell am I doing here? Why did I make that decision? Remember, there's also consequences for all of our decisions, but some of them have to be made in order for us to either learn a lesson or get the answers to one of our questions or the desires, something that we have wished for and wanted, and all of a sudden, by doing this violent change or stepping into something that you really don't know anything about and you're wondering, what am I doing here? It's hopefully bringing you to something that you have asked for. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. It has been a little long, but that's okay. I get to talk to you a little longer. Um, I will, oh, did I even tell you what the reading was for? It's for the week of the 12th through to the 18th or, sure. yeah, through to the 18th because on the 19th is Father's Day and I want to do a reading on that day. So have fun this week. Take care of yourselves. Remember, uh, be careful. Don't try to break any rules. Remember traffic tickets, violations, legal justice. It's what we'll be focusing on this week. It's what's going to focus on us because of all the changes that are happening out there. We better keep it on the up and up. Remember, nose is clean. Don't speed around. Don't do anything stupid because you may be uh, observed by the law. Even though you will be observed and you will be judged fairly, you still may have to go through some hell before that happens. So keep your nose clean and be good. Talk to you again next week. Bye for now. Know that I love you.